Are you an African-American woman? I identify as black. I was drawing self-portraits with the brown crayon instead of the peach crayon and the black, you know, black curly hair. Were you identifying yourself as African-American? In that picture, during that time, no. When I went to Bellhaven University for undergrad, my, my art always focused on the black experience. When I went to Mississippi, feeling like at home in that community, in the black community there, and feeling very isolated and alienated from the white community. She says she identified herself as being African-American or black from a young age, but here's a case where she identified herself as a white woman because it worked for her under the circumstances. The reasons for the, my full tuition scholarship had being removed and my teaching position as well, my TA position, were that other people needed opportunities and you probably have white relatives and that, you know, that can afford to help you with your tuition. And I thought that that was an injustice. I know who I am, and my kids know who I am. And pretty much, I don't think anybody else really knows who. <laughs> totally. Have you done something to darken your complexion? I certainly don't stay out of the sun, you know, and this is not some free birth of a nation uh, mockery blackface performance. This is on a very real connected level uh, how I've, I've actually had to go there with the experience. I actually was talking to um, one of my sons yesterday and, and he said, Mom, racially, you're human and culturally you're black. I do know that they support the, the way that I identify and they support me. And but why point out an African-American man and say that is my father when you know that your father is a Caucasian man? Albert Wilkerson is my dad. And any man can be a father, not every man can be a dad. I mean, I don't, I don't know what you're implying. Are you African American? I don't, I don't understand the question. Yes, Rachel is a master artist, and so she's able to disguise herself. Could you have been as successful, could you have had as big an impact had you been a Caucasian woman as opposed to being identified as an African American woman? I don't know. I guess I, I haven't had the opportunity to, um, to experience that in those shoes. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm.